Hi, I'm Thomas from AKG, and this time I want to talk about how to set up AKG's auto mixers. We have here a demo trolley ideal for traveling salesmen with a complete DMM discussion system. That consists of a DMM6, four CGN321, SDS, and all needed cables. Of course, discussion systems are not the only applications for the DMM, but it's ideal to try to practice the functionality of the mixer. So, before we work with it, we have to take all cables that are coming with out. Then we have to make all the connections. For the DMM6, it's with regular XLR cables. In and out, it's easy. Times four. Since we are using electric microphones, we have to activate the phantom power for all channels. The phantom power switches for one pair of inputs. Now we can power up the system. For that, we connect the IEC cable. The powering will, is done on the rear side of the unit. To cross-check if all cabling is okay, just switch on the units one after the other, and then you see on these lights that all cabling and phantom power is okay and the system is ready to work. So we choose routing to output one and activate inputs one to four by rotating the corresponding input. When we have done that, we will bring the main menu now back to level. To adjust levels, we start with the input levels. We bring up the input levels to zero dB. That's indicated with one brighter LED and we repeat that for all inputs. Done that, we concentrate on the input gain on the rear panel. Let somebody talk into the first microphone from a normal distance and bring up the input gain level slowly to the desired level. You can optically monitor the level by a brief push on the menu knob that turns the input LEDs to a level meter. When talking loud into the microphone, the level should not exceed the zero dB mark. Repeat that with all microphones. If you are alone, you have to do it yourself, of course. So one hand on the rear, you're talking into it and you adjust the rear input level potentiometer as long as the zero dB is not exceeded in a normal distance in normal loud loudness. You repeat that with each microphone. So now we want to cross-check that the automatic mode is not activated for those microphones. For that we go here to automatic and see that all of them are off. Now we activate the local PA system, it's connected now, and bring up this, the level of the room until it starts to feed back. Oh, one more, okay. Then we go to automatic and activate all the microphones, and as you realize, instantly the feedback stops. It's the best feedback eliminator ever. But how does it work? The DMM does not use a gate per channel as usually done. The basic system is known as Dan Dugan principle. All inputs set to automatic are watching each other. A central processor decides if a specific input on a channel is relevant or not. Let's take applause for example. A gate system would realize relevant signal level on all inputs and activate them all. That is definitely not what we want. The DMM would see that the same signal is on all the channels and would ignore it. Now you have heard that the DMM is intelligent enough to determine signals as relevant, regardless the level of it. The way of mixing is also called gain sharing. That means that the output level always stays constant. All input channels together share 100% of the output level. You adjust on the main out. So usually ch channel signals are adding up. That usually results in more feedback with increasing number of active microphones. If no relevant signal is recognized, all inputs are reduced by a certain level to reach that 100% of output level. If one channel receives a relevant input signal, that input gets more gain. The others are reduced even more so that in total we still have that 100%. If two or more channels receive a relevant signal, all those channels are prioritized, but in total we still have that 100%. This way, you will never run into feedback troubles. The win of gain before feedback rises with the number of open microphones, of course. Since you can cascade up to 10 auto mixes, the maximum system size you can have is 120 microphones using DMM12s. 
all watching at each other, all mixed under gain sharing conditions. Using DMM gain shared mixing not only optimizes feedback behavior, but also improves massively the room noise level. The voices become very dry, almost like being in a studio. Last but not least, the DMM can be used perfectly as premixer for run table discussions in TV studios. The times are over when a sound engineer reacts too slow and half of the sentence is missing. It is working just great with studio quality data for noise floor, frequency range, delay times and so on. As you see and hear, I am very enthusiastic about that product. Once you try it, you will understand why. Thank you for your attention. Hope to see you soon.